have installed Pro Tools on my Mac, and we're going to get right here and start to launch. Let's go right here. We'll launch Pro Tools. I have a lot of software, obviously. And it's launching. We have 11.2.1. It's going to load up all the plugins, everything else. Check the engine. And the first thing we see here is our quick start menu guide. It's that like box comes up. And you can see here, I can create a session from templates. I can make a blank session, open a recent session, and just find a session and open it up. So this first one here, to create a session from a template, there are templates built into the software. You can click here. We're currently on music, but we have this 11 rack for guitars. We have guitar, we have icon for the icon mixing board, miscellaneous stuff, music, post-production, uh, record and mix. And then we have songwriter and venue for live. Now these templates have a lot of presets, where it's a whole mixing board, or it could be just a setup just for one particular music style. Like for example, this is blues, right? So uh, let's look at let's look at it funk. Let's go to funk right here. Scroll back up, and you'll see here we have the session parameters that we can change. So we have the audio file type. This is WAV. I can also make it AIFF. I can change this sample rate. Now be aware if you change your sample rate, the larger the sample rate, the bigger the files. You'd have enough storage space. And also when you do save your project, you've got to save it to a separate external hard drive. Runs better that way. We can change our bit depth. And we have interleave too as well. So let's open one of these things up and get an idea of what's going on here. So Okay, Pro Tools asks me, where do you want to store this at? I want to store it right here, right? So I already have a location for it to be stored. And now it's going to pull up this template. Now, seeing this template, we have tracks already. We have tracks on this side here as well. And let's play it back from the top. Already have drums. So I'm gonna flip over to the mixing board. And you'll see here we have a master fader. We've got some reverb here set up. So it's already set up for us. You'll notice here there's even a, a setup here in this pop up fader, which is for headphones, reverb, delay, a flange. We've got the expandy here. Kick drums, snares, hi-hats, natural percussion, some effects. Right there. Let's stop that. And you'll notice here, right next to the master, we have effects. There's a D verb right there. Next to that, we have a delay return and a flange return. So there are effects also built into these templates. And if you want to close the session out, you can just go right here, close session. Do I want to save it? Yeah, sure, save it. And that's how we can open up a template. After I close the session, I might just want to open up a new session. So I'll go here to File, we'll go to New Session, and here we no longer see the quick start that you see when you launch Pro Tools. So I can go here to create a session from template, and once I do, my templates come right back, as you can see right there. So to create a session, I can choose a file type, sample rate, and in this case, I may use 24, I prefer to do that, and I prefer to go to 48. But you gotta make sure when using Pro Tools, you store your data on an external hard drive. That's important. Also in running Pro Tools, go ahead to my Mac, and for PC as well, increase your memory. Now right here, my RAM right here is 16 gigabytes. So you wanna have a lot of RAM. This is very important when doing sessions. You want enough power to complete your project.